Hello, my friends, it's me again. Hope everybody's doing okay. Somebody asked me to do a video about cold pizza because they saw the video of me eating hot pizza at Pizza Hut. So, I ordered this pizza last night. I left one piece in there just for today. Nice and cold, ready to go. <laughs> got to put some salt on it though but somebody said you know cold pizza is a lot harder to eat with dentures than hot pizza because hot pizza is soft and that's a very accurate statement no denying hot pizza is softer than cold pizza but the simple fact remains that when you learn how to bite correctly colder hot don't matter now You do have to understand that'll be different with immediate dentures. This is, you know, talking about permanent dentures here and not using adhesive. Just, I do have the denture fit reline in my top denture, which snugs it up and keeps it from breaking loose, which makes things a lot easier for me to bite. Um, once you get your bite technique down, and I love cold pizza. Next day pizza is what I call it. I don't call it cold pizza. I call it next day pizza. And I love next day pizza. I did a video a while back about how the temp temperature of things changes the flavor. And hot pizza is good, but cold pizza has a whole different flavor. Now, you'll notice when I'm biting through something like this, there's a pretty wide pizza. I'm only using the four front teeth to bite with. You shove that in your mouth and you're trying to bite with your entire denture, that's when people have problems because the four front teeth are made to cut with, the other teeth are made to chew with. So you need to learn to bite small enough to only use those four front teeth. Then you'll be able to bite through stuff. I've noticed that a lot of people are trying to do this. It's great big bites. All your molars do is smash the food. They don't cut the food. And then they have trouble with that bottom denture flopping around because they got too big a bite in their mouth. And they're trying to use their tongue to maneuver that food around so they can chew it. And their tongue is getting in the way of the denture and everything else and the bottom denture is moving all over the place. Remember, small enough bites to bite with only the four front teeth. You'll be able to bite right through it. So, I've noticed that was the biggest issue people are having. We're basically trying to take too big a bite, and you end up smashing the food instead of biting through it. And when you take too big a bite, you can't maneuver it with your tongue because it fills up your whole mouth. And as you're trying to remove, let me swallow that. As you're trying to maneuver it, you're either getting your tongue under your denture, trying to maneuver the food, or the food is getting under the denture and flipping it up. Small bites, friends. Small bites. <laughs> I 
if you learn how to bite with only the front four teeth, you can bite through things without having to rip them apart. Bigger stuff like the crust. Whoops. I don't normally eat the crust, but bigger stuff like the crust is a little more difficult. But still, can be done if you bite with only the four front teeth. You notice I'm not ripping and tearing at it or anything else. You can bite all the way through it. Hold on, that was a little dry. You can bite all the way through it if you're biting with just the four front teeth. Okay? Now, I do sometimes close my lips and push with my lips to kind of help me. You'll learn it all. You'll have it all figured out before you know it. Just remember, the smaller the bite, the easier it is to bite through. The easier it is to maneuver in your mouth, the easier it is to chew. Hope that helps. Have a great day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up.